How's it going, YouTube? You're about to watch two Wi-Fi Pokemon battles on my new video here. New overlay, I hope you guys like it. I know I like to make overlays, but I like this one, so. Alright, now, I am using the same team as last time, last video. If you have not seen it, check it out. But, my opponent is packing a really powerful OU team as I face off against him. Starting off, he has a show Smash Cloister setting up right off the bat, and I was expecting either a Focus Sash or a Weakness Policy, and he has a Focus Sash, so that's great. But now I'm expecting a Water Type move or Icicle Spear, not Rock Blast, because that was taking out my TC100 here, my favorite Pokemon, Samurai. Now this particular Samurai does not have Aqua yet, but it's okay because we do force him out. That is fantastic. I go for Grass Knot. He does have Venusaur, and I was going to go for an Ice Beam, but really, I just wanted to see if he's going to go Mega or not, and he has a Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur has the ability Thick Fat, which will have the moves Ice Beam, or just Ice Type moves, or Fire Type moves, cut in half. So, Ice Beam will not do a very good amount. He was probably expecting a switch out, which is why he went for the three powder. I'm okay with that because nobody else does not want to go to sleep at this point. And now we're going to go back into Gardevoir. It's okay for Sandlock to go down because this will give me a, a free switch into Gardevoir, Mega Gardevoir, and just go for Psychic to finish him off. Now, right here, I was probably thinking, oh, he might outspeed me, but no. He is not fast enough, so Cloyster goes down too. Here comes Ken Shen, the Jellicent here. Ken Shen has Will-O-Wisp here, and that's really unfortunate because I end up switching out into Dragonite, which he does have the Lumberry. Of course, last upload, Dragonite swept a lot, but then he got dominated by my last opponent's Garchomp. But in this video here, he does get burned, but I do set up a lot, so it won't matter in the sense that my attacking power will be back at normal. But we do take residual damage from the burn, as you'll see here in just a second. See? 94 HP is 75. Yeah, just losing a little bit of longevity. I went for Earthquake earlier just because I didn't feel safe going for an Outrage yet, just because he has a Fairy-type Pokemon, Sylveon, in the back. So why bother go for Outrage? But we do go for it afterwards, because I figured, hey, you know what, let's just go for it. And it just worked out. It worked out really good. I go with my Shiny Gengar, Shiny Gengar from the event a little while ago. Wanted to pull him out here for the battle. Just wanted to see how well he can do. I go for Shadow Ball and it does not do enough because High Dragon is here, who is Dark type and Dragon type. Takes the Shadow Ball really well there and I really need to put some more special defense EVs on this Heatran because, yes, Dark Pulse is neutral in this generation. Last generation, it was not very effective, but even still, I just want to put some more special defense EVs so that way I can survive more Dark Pulses. Now, the way he's playing Hydreigon, I was hoping that it was not Assault Vested, but the, by the looks of it, I know Scarfed or Spets. I know he's locked in one move. So we go into my Victor, the Primeape here. I go for U-Turn because I know that the Jellicent, who's a Ghost-type Pokemon, Fighting-type moves will not work against it. So going for U-Turn will allow me to get out of there and go into Gengar. I went for Sludge Wave here, hoping to take him out. And I don't. But I do end up 
getting the secondary effect of Surge Wave, which is poisoning the target Pokemon as I went for the Surge Wave. And the reason I went for Surge Wave instead of Shadow Ball was just because of either the High Dragon or his Sunshino. Yeah, Sunshino is a normal type Pokemon who will not work, who will not be affected by the Shadow Ball attack. So we go in the Heatran for Deathfogger, just trying to get a safe switch in to Victor again. And we do just that. So, and here is Sylveon, the Pokemon I'm talking about, who's a fairy type. And he takes the close combat really well. That's okay, because we can switch out and then we can go in the Gardevoir, because I know Gardevoir can take Hyper Voices, but in this scenario, that did a lot of damage, and fortunately, this Gardevoir has the move Destiny Bond. You'll see what this move does. So we lose Gardevoir, but Destiny Bond will take Sylveon with us. There we go, a double down, awesome! But guess what? I am actually going to win this battle because I have my Victor Choice Scarf, which means I'll speed the High Dragon. If he was Scarfed as well, then we can just we can still outspeed him because I'm Scarfed too, and we take out High Dragon. So all that aside, we're going to also take care of Menako, the Sinchino too, because he's also weak to fighting, and we take care of Luffy in the first battle. But here's the second battle, the rematch. That's right, we have a rematch. Because having a second battle can make up for that awesome match. Why not? But this battle was really hilarious. Just because I played terrible and it's just like a payback from what I did to him. Because believe it or not, Luffy is actually a really good battler. And he got the best out of me in this battle. So anyway, we start out using Primary Pure Go for U-Turn, just like always, and we go back into Gengar, the shiny Gengar because of that sparkle. And awesome shiny Gengar has the special move Sludge Wave and then Shadow Ball. I went for Shadow Ball because I was like, you know what, he's going to probably will with me again or Shadow Ball me back, but yeah. I didn't feel like going for a Sludge Wave yet, but that's fine. So we lose the Kenshin right here. I get a critical hit. I'm not really sure if it mattered because of how much the first Shadow Ball did, but we take care of the Jellicent. And here comes the Sinshino. And this particular Gengar, it bluffs choice specs, but it's actually wise glasses, which is the same as choice specs, but you're not locked in in one move. Isn't that amazing? Yes. So here is Venusaur, and I know that Venusaur can take a fighting type move. So why bother go for that when he has that? We're going to go for U-Turn, go with the Gardevoir again, trace the Chlorophyll ability, very useless for Gardevoir in this scenario. I go for Psychic not being aware of the High Dragon, but that's okay. But fortunately though, he switches out and goes into Sinshino, and he actually gets wiped out in one hit. That's the power of my Mega Gardevoir. Now he goes into Cloister. This is the this is the payback scenario here. I switch out, go into Heatran, for some reason, I'm not really sure why I did that. I probably should have stayed in, went for a Destiny Bond or a Psychic or something. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I know he, I know he's Focus Sash, but at the same time, I really shouldn't have switched out. So we lose Heatran for him not doing anything, absolutely nothing. I go into Victor, hoping to take a hit, but after he sets up, it's just power through the roof. We do get an anger point boost, which maximizes Primate's attack, but nope, not gonna work out here. I go into Dragonite just to get some damage off with the extreme speed, and we do 
okay damage to it because of his defenses. They are lowered at this point, but it's not going to be enough. So we lose Dragon Knight 2, and then we go in the Guard of War, get another critical hit too. And like he's getting critical hits everywhere. So that's Guard of War down. We go into TC100, who actually kicks an icicle spear. I probably should have gone into this initially. Just saying. Just saying. I mean, honestly, why would you death fodder all sorts of Pokemon when you have TC100 here? But at the same time, I probably should have. I don't know. I, it's, it's, it's hard to say. But we take care of the Cloyster after he destroyed like five of my Pokemon. And the match is over because of High Dragon going for Dark Pulse to seal the deal. There you go, that's the match. Or the matches rather. That rematch though, that was intense. But I hope you guys like the battle videos. I like the overlay for this. I like making overlays. But if you like the overlay, awesome. And I will hopefully have more Wi-Fi battle cereal soon. Alright guys, have a great day, and I'll see you all later with another video here coming out whenever I have the chance to. Alright, goodbye traders.